Guys, we are one day out from the Norwegian Championship. I've just been to the gym, done a full body circuit. I prepped all my meals, I packed my bag and I'm ready to leave. I'm just gonna take a shower and then I'm going to the airport. Shit. We look on point. I can't wait to see how we look after we carb up. Shit. What the fuck? Here are all the meals I will bring with me to the airport and I will eat all this throughout the day. I have some peanut butter, very important. Strawberry jam. Salt, rice cakes. So one very important thing we also bring with us. Yeah. It's wine, white wine. I'm gonna drink that tonight. And as you know, alcohol, it dehydrates you. So like it just makes you look so dry the next day. She's so dramatic, post a caption. I say no regrets, but that's just a cover up. We have arrived at the airport. I'm gonna go and drop off this bag and then we're gonna get on the plane. And uh, in order for me not to get bloated on the plane, I'm gonna drink a lot of water uh, before boarding the plane and on the plane. It's gonna suck because I need to pee all the time, but we gotta do it to not get bloated. But now, fuck. <laughs> but now, let's get in and meet our teammates who are waiting at the airport. We have arrived at the hotel in Tönsberg. It's near Oslo. Uh, so, see. It's pretty nice. I'm sharing a room with Ojan. He's currently at the toilet. So, uh, pretty nice. We also got the view. <laughs> Damn, look at this. And there's some ancient people out here. <laughs> the Vikings, I don't know what's going on over there, but uh, shit. This is actually, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm so happy to finally be here. Uh, so what's going on now is I have three more meals to eat for the car rub. So I have two boxes with rice and lean ground beef. I also have some rice cakes with peanut butter and strawberry jam. So now we're just gonna chill here for a bit. Then we're going to the tanning. <laughs> we have chilling, tanning, registration, and then we're just going and then in the evening we're gonna drink some wine with the team uh, as I mentioned in earlier in the vlog we drink the wine to dry out because of the alcohol so looking very forward to that and I'm also looking very forward to eating food tomorrow that will be so nice so now um, I have to pee so bad because I've been drinking like three liters of water on the plane and on the way over so Catch you guys later. We have placed out everything ready for tomorrow. So we have rice cakes, citrulline melee for pump on show day. We have some skippy peanut butter, salt, strawberry jam, the sneakers I will be eating straight before hitting the stage, some cashew nuts, of course, wine. That's very important. And here we have Orian's side. <laughs> he has a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, some honey. Strawberry um, jam, peanut butter, a bunch of bars, uh, water. Here we have all our meals. Uh, we also have some more meals over here, which I'm going to eat today. As I mentioned, we, I drink a lot of water. This is the short I'll be using. I'll be showing that later, after the spray tan. Yeah. <laughs> 12.5%. <laughs> yeah, very huge. Or a strong wine. Oh, yeah. So, uh, looking very forward to just getting that spray tan now and uh, just be finished off with the registration and everything. And then show day tomorrow. One day out. God oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> so, we are going down to get the spray tan. I'm ready. Luckily, the spray tan is at the hotel, so I'm just gonna walk down like this and then. Let's go. We just got the spray tan. Uh, what really sucks is that the light in here at the bathroom, it comp it sucks. So we look like shit and we look smaller in this lighting, but it is what it is. But the spray tan turned out good and yeah. So dark. <clears throat> so registration <laughs> at seven o'clock. It's five o'clock now, so just gonna chill here for a bit. 
uh, let the spray tan dry out, uh, eat one more meal, then go to registration at <laughs> registration at seven o'clock. <laughs> Uh, then we we'll meet up with the team and drink this lovely wine <laughs> to dry out. And then I also have my last meal, which is rice cakes with peanut butter and strawberry jam before bed. So, yeah, nice. I'm so freaking hungry. It's okay, guys, <laughs> I just finished up this entire bottle of wine. Uh, we have dried up completely, we have finished our macros for the day, we've done the carb up. Frederick, the coach from Team Life Fit, he's looked at us and he said it was on point, we're looking very good so we don't have to eat any more carbs. So I just want to show you guys the physique now when we're completely dry. So I'm just going to give the camera to uh, Arian and he's just going to film me in. So under here, this is where the crazy bad thing is. So you can see. We're very dry at the moment and it's completely crazy. So, like we have the front pose. I can either go like this or I can crunch my abs. And side pose to show off the back hair. Smile, show the abs, pop the veins here, back. So like, also I just want to show you the back. Back though. Oh, Did you see the rear delts are popping? I feel like the rear delts, that's my strong point. <laughs> like my shoulders. So as you can see, we dry it up. We're looking good. So now it's almost 12 o'clock. So we're going to try to go to sleep. Wake up at eight o'clock tomorrow. Go and get the second layer of spray tan. Then we're hitting the stage and uh, there will be a live stream but this video is up way before <laughs> the show is over so but i will get all my footage from stage of the live stream so shout out to ifoam they will provide us with all of the footage we need and yeah, i'm super excited drank 7.5 deciliters wine <laughs> and i'm I've cut out all my water at the moment, which sucks, but that's the way it is. So tomorrow I'm only gonna drink water when it's completely necessary. Uh, so yeah, now we're gonna go to sleep and I will see you guys in show day tomorrow. Good morning, it's show day. And uh, I'm ready for my first meal of the day, which is 100 grams of rice, 80 grams of chicken with a lot of ketchup and one tablespoon of peanut butter. So, the day is here, we are ready. I slept, uh, I slept for around, probably like five hours and I woke up to go to the toilet and I slept for two more hours. So, we got enough sleep, feeling good. Uh, and uh, yeah. Second layer with spray tan, waiting in line now. Folkens, jeg har følt med på YouTube-videoen hans utrolig lenge. Vi møtte for første gang i Sandefjord Open, og nå er han her på NMO. Vi har andre turen her. Det er utrolig god stemning. Det er veldig trivelig å møte på folk med samme interesse og bare samme mindset. Det betyr egentlig alt. Så det blir litt sånn motivasjon fram fra Sandefjord til NMO nå. Så her kjører vi på. Nytt rumpe. Klappe en rumpe. Klappe bare folk jeg liker med rumpe. Ja, det liker jeg. Det er god stemning. Du har fått på andre lag her. Jeg skal ta på laget mitt nå, og så skal jeg få tørke meg på de koselige vitene her. Vi skal se på nå. Ja, nå har vi det sånn her. Vi trenger litt av farge i ansiktet. 
Ja, ja. Ja, Helt nydelig når jeg skal spise sinnssykt mye riskaker med penisbarsilt. Jeg har gjerne en full gang med spisingen her nå. Det var bra. Det er 2019. 
Sovet'in Han heyeti Alexander Gelecek'i Topol Okay, so we just got off stage, uh, and as you guys saw, we managed to get fourth place in the Norwegian Championship. This is our second men's physique competition. The first one was Sanofi Open two weeks ago, so this is like my first competition season. Uh, and overall, I'm extremely happy. Uh, I just looked at some pictures and some clips from the stage. and. Yeah, we looked good, we did our best, we did what we could, and we ended up with a fourth, fourth place, and I'm happy, it might like seem like I'm disappointed, but I, I think I'm happy about it, but I, my head has been hurting the entire day, and I'm so tired and everything, so I guess I'm happy, it's just the fact that like my head hurts, and maybe I'm very tired and like not showing that I'm happy, but yeah, uh, we, did, we did our best. And we looked good on stage. I haven't seen too many clips, but I saw some some pictures. So now we're going to eat a lot of food. We don't have any more competitions now. So now I can just eat whatever I want. Go out and celebrate this fourth place. And guys, just look at this trophy. Like, it's freaking crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm extremely happy. Like the guys in my class, like, yeah, they looked crazy, and the uh, level here, it was uh, it was ridiculous. So uh, I'm just gonna drink a bunch of water now since my head hurts and I'm dehydrated and shit. So then I'm going to eat. Okay, I'm going to eat a lot of food, but I just want to sum it up. Our first men's physique competition season, we ended up placing first in San Jose Open which is unbelievable and now we even managed to get a freaking fourth place in the Norwegian championship that's crazy now I'm gonna celebrate we have planned what we're going to do so before I take a shower we're going to subway buy a sandwich there then we're going back to the hotel taking a shower then we're going out to eat an entire pizza then we're going back here chilling for a bit and then we have ordered a uh, a table at a very nice restaurant here in Tönsberg with the entire team so we're gonna eat a lot of food there after that I'm gonna have some chocolate some ice cream and I'm gonna finish off the day with some McDonald's uh, here at the hotel room with some McFlurry ice cream and everything so but now um, I need to go and get some food and celebrate so um, I will probably film some of the meals but now I don't want to think about filming I just want to go out and eat drink some water and just uh, just came back to the hotel. We've been eating a lot of cheat meals. Yeah. <laughs> His stomach is like pushing up. And uh, I'm just gonna show you <laughs> in the mirror over here. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so you saw the shape yesterday <laughs> stage. <laughs> and just look now. The <laughs> stomach is like. I'm pushing it a bit out now, but like. But what's funny is. It's. How sure it's pushing out, but you know the the skin is still like. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Uh, yeah. But oh, I'm gonna lay down in my bed. Ugh. So, uh, what's going on now? I don't know how it's gonna explain, but like my stomach, it's sticking out like crazy. Uh, but I don't feel full at all, even though my stomach is literally just. I don't feel full at all, I can, it's like it's never stopping and that's the way it is when you've been on diet for so long but uh, important that I just want to let myself loose and let you know eat whatever I want today and tomorrow and on Monday reverse diet 
building up our metabolism, fixing our hormone balance and everything. But I feel like it's important for me because I haven't had a cheat day since March and we're currently in September. So I feel I deserve it that I can just eat whatever I want today and tomorrow. And uh, yeah. <sighs> Shit, guys, this is crazy. Damn, like, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> That's so crazy. This entire day since I woke up, I had this annoying headache. Like it was so bad. And that's why when it was getting close to competition, I just wanted to get it over with as fast as possible because my head was hurting so much. And uh, then once it was done, you know, my head, it was hurting so much that like my mood was completely shit. And then I like, I didn't know if when I came back to the room, if I was like disappointed in getting fourth place or if it was just a headache that was annoying me. And now that I, I take some painkillers and the headache is completely gone and I feel fine. And now I know that I'm happy with fourth place. It was just a headache. I wasn't, I, uh, yeah, so, yeah. But I, I've talked enough. I'm gonna check out with you, check in with you guys later or tomorrow. I don't know, but now I'm just gonna relax a bit and then we're going to eat some more food. <laughs> Just kidding guys, I got my chocolate, I'm gonna eat that now and I'm gonna enjoy it so much. The competition is over, it's been a couple of days. I've been enjoying food on Saturday and Sunday. I've actually eaten so much that I nearly puked sometimes. But now it's Monday, it's back to reality. We have our normal bowl of oats with blueberries. And guys, we're gonna do this properly. We're back on track. We've had our cheat days. Now, we're gonna reverse diet, slowly adding back calories in, and uh, we're not gonna do some stupid shit where we just eat whatever you want and just, bam, lose all the progress we've gained so far. So, we're back on track. Let's do this properly. It's currently six days after my competition. It's a Friday. The competition was last Saturday. And we have officially started reverse dieting. As I mentioned in the previous clip, I've increased my calories from 2,900 to 3,300. And I will be slowly adding back in calories. Uh, and I'm not gonna lie, it's freaking hard. <laughs> I'm so hungry and I want food all the time, but I know I'm going to thank myself later on the road when I've done a proper reverse diet instead of just eating whatever I want whenever I want uh, and just gaining all the fat back at once. Uh, this is this is probably going to be more difficult than the diet until up until the show, but that's the way it is. But enough about reverse dieting. I'll make another video about that. What I want to talk about now is what actually happened at the show and my thoughts and everything. So, to start it off, like, we're <laughs> uh, we ended off our first men's physique season, our first men's physique show and everything with, like, guys, ah, look at this. <laughs> we got freaking two trophies here. First place in Sonifio Open, our first men's physique show. They managed to get first place. Then, two weeks later, we had the Norwegian Championship and we managed to place fourth. Uh, and that's unbelievable. First place and fourth place. Crazy. I'm so happy with my first competing season. And now it's time to grow. And yes, I will be doing another show probably in a year or one and a half years. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, I want I wanted to discuss what happened. So I'm gonna put up two pictures for the two competitions right now. And what you will see or what I personally think I looked way better in Sun of You Open, like the show where I got first place. And there is a reason for that. Uh, so as you know I'm coaching myself, I don't have a coach, so I control all my the workouts, my calories, my macros, I do all of that by myself. I don't have anyone watching me. Uh, it has been awesome doing it that way, but it has also led to me doing some big mistakes 
especially in peak week because I've never done I've never done a peak week before before do these two shows and in Sunnyfy Open I peaked perfectly. Oh, like you can see in the pictures now. I f I think I peaked perfectly and uh, and then when I ended that show, I had two weeks until the next show, which was the one I placed fourth in. Uh, but at that point, I, I didn't know what to do. I had no clue what to do, and I was doing this all by myself, and I had no clue what I should do. And uh, I so I thought to myself, okay, Chris, in Sun of You Open, you did everything perfectly. You, you did everything correct. So don't change anything. <laughs> But then again, I was so stuck up in my head and I, uh, I ended up changing things the last week. And I also changed some things the day before and on the same day. And I shouldn't have done that. I felt flat. I feel like I look flat uh, on this competition. And... By all means, I'm, I'm very hard on myself and I'm not disappointed in 4th place. I'm not disappointed in placing 4th at all. It was my first competition, I was the youngest guy in my class, I'm 33 years old. Some of the people in the class were 30 years old, so I have a lot of time to do better. That's not what annoys me, what, really, what I'm really disappointed is, about is the shape I brought. Uh, but I shouldn't be so hard on myself because as I mentioned, the most important thing from this that I did those stupid changes, changes I shouldn't have done. I've learned from it. So uh, sometimes, as me as a person, when I'm going to learn things, I have to fail. I can't like, even though I did everything perfectly in Sun of You, I, I just had to have a show where I just failed completely and did everything wrong in order for me to learn. Like it. Yeah, so now like I have done one show where I peaked perfectly, one where I peaked horribly, but we're learning from it. So I've learned a lot about my body, myself, um, this uh, season, and I'm extremely happy about that. And like, yeah, I just don't need to be so hard on myself because the last days, like, I've been thinking about it every day, and I've been like, ah, oh, you shouldn't have done that, you should have peaked correctly, maybe we could have gotten a better placing and everything. But you know, after all, I'm happy, but I'm very disappointed in the shape I brought to the Norwegian Championship. T to sum it up, <laughs> uh, very happy about these two shows, especially Sanofi Open, uh, where we placed first. And we learned from our mistakes in the Norwegian Championship where we placed fourth. Uh, we learned a lot about how to peak and what not to do and what works. And it's been a very good learning experience and I'm gonna take that with me until the next competition season. And uh, like, I don't know what to say, man. It's, uh, I just don't need to be so hard on myself. Uh, we did this all by ourselves, no coach or anything, so we just basically had to learn by doing a mistake, which is good. We learned from it, that's the most important thing. I just gotta keep that one. We learned a lot, we learned from it, we learned from it, and uh, we still got the fourth, first place. And uh, that was that was my goal. I wanted to go all out for Sun of You Open, since that was my first show, and I just wanted to place the best I possibly could on Sun of Open and I guess like <sighs> Norwegian Championship it was mostly for fun and that is probably why I started doing all these changes because I was in a you're fucked up in your head when you're on prep and I guess since I got my first place in Sun of and I guess I just switched off my brain and did those stupid mistakes and uh, yeah. but uh, I'm sorry this video has taken so long to get out but I literally just came straight home after the gym and I had like this crazy work week where I worked nine hours every single day and uh, I have literally I haven't had time and now it's Friday I have one more day of it work and then I have the weekend off and then I will edit this video and get it out for you guys so uh, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching uh, supporting 
this series. We're gonna, we're, <laughs> I will make more videos and uh, we're not done yet. Uh, I just needed some days to just settle in and yeah. So let me know if there are any video ideas you want me to. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. And uh, thank you guys so much for following along me on this journey. And uh, yeah, guys. <laughs> we had two trophies. First place and a fourth place in the Norwegian Championship. Miss physique. I'm following my passion. I'm super excited for off season now. Reverse dieting, making some, <laughs> making some gains, building some more muscle, and uh, yeah, shit, man. My goal is my goal right now. Just get better. I'm gonna go all out on hypertrophy with my programming. I just want to build as much muscle as possible and uh, grow stronger. So, thank you, guys. Yeah.